Good day everyone! Welcome to another lesson still in module 2 about implementing the curriculum. This time, we will be talking about the role of technology in delivering the curriculum. After this lesson, you will be able to explain how technology supports curriculum implementation and delivery. In delivering the curriculum, the role of technology is very important. The role of technology finds its place at the onset of curriculum implementation, namely at the stage of instructional planning. In a teaching learning situation, there is the crucial need to provide the learners information that forms a coherent whole. Otherwise, learning may end up haphazard and in the end, it will be ineffective. A systematic approach to instructional planning is therefore necessary. And in instructional planning, each lesson should have an idea of general specific goals, instructional objectives, content, activities, media, materials, assessment, and evaluation on how objectives have been achieved. In the choice of instructional media, technology comes into play. Right at the planning phase of any instruction, aside from formulating the objectives and among other considerations, there is a need to identify what instructional media are to be utilized in the implementation. Before we dig into the roles of technology, let's identify first the systematic approach to instructional planning. These are the following. First, define objectives. Second, plan instructional activities. Third, identify and assess instructional media technology. Fourth, choose an instructional media. Fifth, implement instruction. Sixth, assess instruction. And seventh, revise instruction. Now, let's have the types of instructional media or technology. Technology offers various tools of learning and these range from non-projected media to projected media. As you can see in the table, there are examples of non-projected media and projected media. Let's have the non-projected media. It includes real objects, models, field trips, kits, Printed materials like books and worksheets, visuals like drawings, photographs, graphs, charts and posters, visual boards like chalkboards, whiteboards, flannel boards, and etc. And audio materials. Then, we have examples of projected media. We have the overhead transparencies, the opaque projection, slides, film strips, films, video, VCD, DVD, and computer or multimedia presentations. Now the question is, how are we going to assess the visual material or presentations? We have criteria for that. These are, first, littering style or font. It means consistency and harmony. Second, number of littering style no more than two in static display example in chart and bulletin boards number three the use of capitals short titles or headlines should be no more than six words number four littering colors easy to see and read use of contrast in good emphasis fifth littering size good visibility even for students at the back of the classroom six spacing between letters equal and even spacing seven spacing between lines not too close or too blur at a distance eight number of lines no more than eight lines in text of each transparencies or slides number nine appeal it is very unusual and catchy it is two-dimensional interactive sometimes it use overlays or removable flaps and 10, the use of directionals or devices like arrows, bold letters, bullets, constructing color and size, special placement of an item to indicate an emphasis. 
we also need to consider the factors in technology selection. We have practicality, appropriateness in relation to the learners, activity suitability, and objective matching. Now, let's start with practicality. These answers the questions, is the equipment or already prepared lesson material available? If not, what would be the cost of acquiring the equipment or producing the lesson in audio or visual form? The second is activity or suitability. It answers the question, will the chosen media fit the set instructional event resulting in information, motivation, or psychomotor display? And we have the third criteria, appropriateness in relation to the learners. Is the medium suitable for the learner's ability to comprehend? Will the medium be a source of plain amusement or entertainment but not learning? The fourth is objective matching. Overall, does the medium help in achieving the learner's objectives? That's it for the four selections. Now, let's move on to the three current trends that could carry on the nature of education in the future. The first trend is the paradigm shift from the teacher-centered to student-centered approach to learning. The second is the broadening realization that education is not simply a delivery of facts and information but an educative process of cultivating the cognitive, affective, psychomotor, and much more the contemplative intelligence of the learners. Third is the increase in the use of new information. Now, let's answer the question and what are the role of technology in curriculum delivery. First, upgrading the quality of teaching and learning in schools. Second, increasing the capability of the teacher to effectively inculcate learning and for students to gain mastery of lessons and courses. Third, broadening the delivery of education outside schools through non-traditional approaches to formal and informal learning, such as open universities and lifelong learning to adult learners. Next, revolutionizing the use of technology to boost educational paradigm shifts that give importance to student-centered and holistic learning. In a proposed mastery approach to instruction, the teacher presents the lessons to the whole class, assess if learners attain mastery of the lesson, provides enrichment activities with the use of media technology, remediates the non-mastery student, and moves on to the next lesson. That's it for lesson 2 of this module. Are you learning? I hope you are. If you have questions, post those in our Google Classroom. Also, check out your activities in our Google Classroom. This has been Ms. Pretzel and Red. Thank you for listening and stay safe. Take me where you go When the sun goes down